what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today we are going to be working on the brz here's how it sits right now got another set of freaking te's for the car i feel like every video i've had a different set of te's but hopefully i keep these for a while if you guys didn't see my last video i just did the 86 OEM bumper conversion with the Gretti front lip. Still waiting on my model list of front lip, but here's how it looks as of right now. Way more aggressive in my opinion, way nicer. So today we aren't gonna be working on the front end of the car, but we are gonna be working on the rear end of the car today. So in the last video, I installed the NIA Auto Design rear spats. And here's how it looks. It does look pretty good in my opinion, but these were just only for temporary. And I do have some new Modelista rear spats that we will be replacing these with. Here we have the authentic, freshly painted Modelista rear spat. Looks so good. And it does have two holes on the side and one on the bottom and um, I'm gonna see if we can install them without having to use double-sided tape but if we do it shouldn't be a big deal I just got to run to the store and grab some tape so these should sit here just like that you guys get the idea right so yeah let's go ahead and remove those spats maybe take off the wheels and bring the car up in the air Here we got the first side test fitted. It's held on by the zip ties and the two holes here. And then a pop clip on the bottom. Fitment is literally perfect. I was expecting the fitment to be really good. Looks like we do need some 3M tape because, yeah, there's a little gap right here. So, no problem. Just have to go get some 3M tape. 3M tape this down. And then that's pretty much it. We have a pop clip on the bottom and then the zip ties on the side. So here's a little comparison with the Modelista spat on the left here and then the NIA spat on the right here. It does bring the body down a little bit more, I would say. Make it a little beefier, look a little beefier, more aggressive, I guess. Luckily, in my house, I found some 3M tape I have, so let's go ahead and apply this. I already wiped down. I think I'm gonna put the tape from here to here. I think that'll be good. So I went ahead and wiped it down, all the dirt already. Just gotta go ahead and wipe the dirt off the car to let it stick. And apply the 3M tape. All right guys, just finished one side and fitment is literally perfect. And added the double-sided tape. It's pretty sturdy on there with the clip on the bottom and two zip ties on the side and that's that's it simple as that didn't even have to take the wheel off the car or anything and if you guys are scared of um the 3m tape falling off my duck bill that i have on the trunk let me show you guys here so if you guys are scared of the double-sided tape falling off on the freeway or whatnot this whole duck bill right here is held on by 3m double-sided tape and it's been holding on for like a year already. No issues, even the roof spoiler. All 3M double sided tape. So you guys shouldn't have to worry at all if it's gonna fall off on the freeway. And yeah, here's the rear spat. Still gotta do that side. So I'll go ahead and finish that side and show you guys the finished product. So here's an example of how I put the double sided tape. I had to double layer it just so it's a little thick enough to stick to the car but um yep just about half should be good and let's go ahead and put on the car
just came back from the tire shop. And here are the new wheels, guys. These are T37 SLs Formula Silver. As you can see in the sun, these things are freaking shiny. So we got 18 by nine and a halves in the front, and then we got the 10 and a halves in the rear. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the concave on the nine and a half. And the 10 and a half. As you can see, the 10 and a half is a lot more concave, which is why I went with the staggered setup. And we're running 225 35s all around. So you guys can see on the nine and a half, it's not as stretched as the 10 and a halves. And we're running a plus 22 offset all around. And these are 5x114. And the car is 5x100. So we will be having to run some adaptive spacers but shouldn't be much of an issue and if my calculations are correct we shouldn't have to do that much adjusting on this new setup so let's go ahead and throw them on got the 10 and a halves in the rear and um, I have 11 millimeter adapters in the rear these things are a freaking bitch to put on but we got them on we got 10 and a halves right here running 225 35s and if you guys didn't know if you guys got federal tires they are directional so the arrows I don't know if you guys can see the arrows they should be pointing towards the front of the car I didn't know that, just a pro tip if you guys are running some Federals. finish the rears let's go ahead and lower the jack and see how the fitment is all right all right so if you guys didn't know airlift has an app on your phone that you can air up and air down with so let's go ahead and air the fronts down all the way All right, fronts are down. Let's go ahead and tie the rears. Check it out, guys. It barely clears, barely tucks. Go ahead and see the other side. Damn. Let's go ahead and air it out all the way. All right, guys, it's aired out all the way. Let's check it out. Looks like it tucks literally just perfect oh my god it looks so good damn formula silver i think it matches the clear tails really really well i'm thinking about taking the white off the bash bar as well maybe doing just a polished or a raw type of finish to kind of match the wheels but yeah let me know what you guys think so far give this video a thumbs up if you guys are a fan of the te37s these are my favorite wheels of all time. But, we still got the fronts to go. Let's go ahead and install the fronts and see what the finished product looks like.
sir. Earlier, you guys saw that it was tucking in the rear, but I went for a fender to lip and kind of matched the camber all around. If you guys can see, I did leave about maybe half an inch of a gap right here just to kind of save the life of my quarter panels because you run fender to lip, you're bound to bang up your quarter panels pretty, pretty bad. So, left that half an inch gap right there in the fronts. Fender to lip fit is pretty much perfect. Guys, don't mind the front end. The bumper is currently in for paint. And yep, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the new setup with the TEs and the rear spats. Leave a comment down below of what you guys think of the new wheel setup. And that's gonna pretty much do it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more.